Hello there and welcome. How's it going? This is Mark Castillo, aka the Digital Marketing Warrior. Welcome to the Ask and Be Inspired Affiliate Marketing live stream designed to help you get unstuck, produce results, and achieve time freedom. Are you having a hard time building your business right now because you don't seem to have uh, support anywhere, especially from your friends and your family? Do they not support you in what you're doing? Is that making you feel discouraged deep within? Feeling like maybe this isn't for you because other people are not supporting you. If you're feeling this way right now, I understand. I can relate to how you feel because I was in the position like this in the very beginning when I first got started with my affiliate marketing journey. It was around the time when I got a call from my school counselor and I met up with him to discuss transferring out of community college. He told me that I was more ahead than I thought I was. I was a semester ahead and because of that, I graduated early. And so while this may have seemed like it was good news, it was not really good news for me. I had missed the deadline to apply for the university I was going to apply for, and I didn't have much options on what I could do after the graduation ceremony in the community college that I was attending. And my school counselor was discussing uh, different uh, colleges that required me to go out of state, particularly to Arizona. And at the time, I didn't know what to do. I felt like, hold on a minute. I can't make a decision like this right now. I, I got to give this some thought. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. And so I remember just giving the news to my mom and the rest of my family. And they were like, well, you got to continue on to university, but definitely you, you can't go out of state. And then fast forward to about a week later, I got introduced to a network marketing company that a couple of my now former friends were a part of. I actually hopped on a three-way call with one of their coaches and we had a long talk. So he was telling me all these things about the company and he was telling me, yeah, it's time that you had your big break. But I wasn't sold on that conversation. Something in me was telling me that there's something quite not right here. So I began doing some research. I began scouring the internet. Lo and behold, I come across this power couple that did a review on the network marketing company that I was researching. And after they're reading their blog article, I love their insights. I loved how genuine they seemed with their voice. And so I read more on their story and I felt like, you know what? I'm gravitating towards them. Then I explored their blog more and I saw a banner ad in which I clicked on it and I got signed up with them. But when I got signed up with them, I saw the possibilities. I saw how I could embark on this journey of building a successful business from home all without having to spend nowhere near 30 grand. And when I had made this decision, I also quit college altogether. I had made the decision that I was not going to continue on to a university because I didn't want to get myself in student debt. Nobody was going to pay for my tuition anyways. And to top it off, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wasn't even sure if the psychology degree that I had, the associate's degree for it, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to continue on with that because the careers that were in that field didn't really appeal to me, didn't resonate with me. And when I brought the news to my family and friends, I got scolded. I got a lot of heat for it. And there was even one time where my mom, my dad, and my grandma 
had a roundtable discussion just about me, and they all agreed that I got to go back to college. I got to go back to school. They didn't like me leaving, but I was not really left with much choices because either way, even if I did continue on to a university, I was going to have to rack up student loans of at least 30 grand. And I didn't want to do that for myself. I wanted to start a new path. But starting this new path, this new journey of affiliate marketing was not exactly easy for me. I went through the training modules, yes. I attended the coaching calls, yes. But I was still having a hard time dealing with the lack of support from my family and friends. My friends actually laughed at me when I told them I ditched school just to start building an online business. So they immediately started saying that I was going to be another con artist. Or even one of them was like laughing at me. It's like, oh yeah, what are you going to do in that business? Have a bunch of people like cheering you on, like cheerleaders? I mean, that's so kid stuff. And it just brought a huge toll down on already my lack of confidence. And then I remember one time when I got resourceful and did everything I could to go to the live event that was in Mesa, Arizona for the affiliate marketing company that I was promoting at the time in which not only I got to meet the people that I saw online for a couple of years, but also I got to meet my coaches and mentors. And one of my coaches that I met up was with Fraser Chom. So I remember he's this uh, Scottish guy who was really down to earth. I enjoyed talking to him a lot. And he was aware of my situation with regarding my family. And as the weekend went by and when the live event was done, I was blown away by how much value was given and how much I learned from it. But I didn't quite have the confidence in me to continue pushing forward because I was at a crossroads. I wasn't really sure what the next move was going to be or if I should continue forward. And I remember stopping Fraser in the halls and I asked him, Fraser, I have something to ask you. And I was wondering if you could take some time to talk to me about it. And he said, yeah, sure. Uh, what's on your mind? And he, I asked him, I said, Fraser, what if I become successful in this business? I continue to push forward, but my family is, is still not supportive of me. He paused for a moment, and then he told me the following. Mark, is this your life? Or is it their life? Because whatever you do with your life, it's not going to affect them. You see, your family is the kind of type, and a lot of families are like this, in which they just want to be able to talk to other people around them and brag about you. And where do you fit in in all of that? And right at that moment, I cried. I was bawling with tears because I know what he was saying was true. And I remember he gave me a hug and I cried on his shoulder. And it, it hurt me because I was feeling so low at this point when I had just gotten back from my hiatus. I really wanted this business to work for me. But feeling like I was all alone, that I didn't have that support I needed, it just took a toll on everything deep within me but i wanted to get some support from my coach at the time and then after i cried on his shoulder he was saying mark if you want something go and get it it doesn't matter what other people say or, or what your family thinks this is your life not theirs this is your life you are the author of your own story. The pen is in your hand. Take that pen, write your story, and make it a great one.
And with those last words, I smiled back at him and knowing that I got the push I needed to keep going forward. Now, if you're faced with unsupportive friends or family for your affiliate marketing business or whatever business you may be building right now, I want you to know you're not alone. I remember feeling this way years ago and what he told me, I'll never forget at that live event. If you want to be able to overcome that lack of support that you have with your friends and family, keep your head down and do the work. Don't talk too much about what it is that you got going on in your business right now. Keep your head down and do the work. Now, if they ask how your business is going, you don't need to avoid the conversation, avoid talking about your business like you're ashamed of it, but you just don't need to be so vocal about it. You can say, yeah, my business is going great. Everything is going according to plan. And then you change the topic. So you don't need to go vocal about what you got going on for your business. Because at the end of the day, this is not something that it concerns them. It's not going to affect their lives. Whose life is it going to affect? It's yours. Keep your head down and simply do the work. It doesn't matter what people say to you. It doesn't matter what your friends or family say to you. And if they keep telling you that you're crazy for building this business, you don't have what it takes, or, and they say things like this, but don't give a focus to them. And you know, that's just life. That's their opinions. But you want to know something about opinions? You don't have to make them your truth. Other people's perceptions, they can think whatever they want to think, but you don't have to make them your reality. You don't have to make them your truth. As Fraser once told me, you're the author of your own story. You have the pen in your hand. Stop giving that pen to somebody else to write your story for you. They're not you. You got to take that pen back. Make sure that pen stays in your hand. Continue writing your beautiful story. Paint out your masterpiece. Make sure it's a hell of an amazing story that you're going to be able to reflect on several years from now. You don't need to be afraid of what other people think about you and what you're doing for your business. You stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on your dreams. Don't give up. Don't let the music die. Still, Don't let yourself die with the music still inside of you. You can do it. If you commit to it, you're willing to do whatever it takes. You're willing to get resourceful. You're willing to be coachable. If you would do those things for yourself, it doesn't matter what's going on around you. It doesn't matter what other people may be saying to you. This is your life, not theirs. Keep your head down and do the work. You hold the pen in your hand. Write your story. What's it going to look like? Think about how awesome your life is going to be when this business starts working out for you. And keep that vision alive. And do all that you can in each present moment every single day because that is what's going to get you moving towards where you want to be. Okay, so... I trust you got a ton of value from that. And what I'll go ahead and do right now is take some questions, which I got prior to this live stream. And I'm going to go ahead and start answering them right now. Joseph asked, why is my YouTube channel not able to reach more audience? Joseph, there's a number of factors that can be involved with why your YouTube channel is not reaching the audience in which 
you're looking for those desired results. So what I would do is look very closely, first of all, at who your target audience is. Is your video content that you're putting out there matching that target mm -hmm. audience? Because if it's not, that can be one of the explanation as to why your YouTube channel is not growing. Why it's not getting those views, those subscribers and likes and engagement like it should be. Another thing that could be another factor as to why you're not seeing your YouTube channel grow is you're not doing your SEO properly. You're either not adding the proper tags or adding no tags at all to your videos. And also your channel tags are not really relevant to the target audience that you're targeting. You got to understand that it's very important that you do your SEO correctly. Otherwise, no matter what kind of video content you put out there, even if it's, it's every day, if it's not targeted, if it's not what your audience is looking for, you're wasting time. Another thing also is you're not adding a video title or a video description to any of your videos. Sometimes what I'll see people do on their YouTube video channels is they'll put a video up, but there will be no video description or there will be no video title. The title will just be like random gibberish. Like you can tell that they just uploaded it from their computer because you know when you go to download a file, whether that be for pictures or for videos, and then it just gives you like a series of letters and then numbers, a short set of numbers after that, as well as the file, the name of the file format. If you're just uploading videos like that, you're not going to be able to grow your YouTube channel. You got to take the time to look at how to do your YouTube titles for your videos and your video description properly. Another factor that could also explain why you're not seeing those results is you're, you don't have video structure. It's so important to have video structure for all of your videos because if you don't have that, then you're just going to be randomly talking all over the place. You're not going to be laser focused. And if you're going off topic, off tangent, people are going to just hop off the videos. That's going to affect your watch time and your views, which are important metrics for your video channel. So be mindful of the video structure that you have for your videos. If you're doing a video channel on, let's say, one that caters to other affiliate marketers and entrepreneurs, you want to have video structure. You want to have your introduction. You want to introduce the problem, introduce the solution, and have the call to action. And another factor as to why you're not seeing those results on your YouTube channel is you're not being consistent and patient. Perhaps you may be doing all of the above correctly, but what you're not doing is being patient and giving it time. This is something that you're building over the long term. Uh, forget all the people that are telling you that you can generate a million subscribers overnight or over the next month. You, you don't need to believe in such gibberish. What you need to focus on is being consistent. Continue putting video content out there every single day. And be patient because I remember when there was a time I didn't see much results coming in from my video channel. I remember for a long while when I started building up my YouTube video channel, it was right about 2018. And I didn't see very many subscribers. I didn't see very many views on my videos. I remember only seeing like barely 50 subscribers, but because I didn't give up and because now I'm being consistent and uploading a video every single day, I've seen 
not only my views go up, my engagement go up, but also I am seeing my subscriber base grow. Now, I'm currently up at 303 subscribers right now, but that's still pretty good. What you want to keep in mind is just because you don't see those results yet, it doesn't mean it's never going to happen. So continue being consistent and uploading your video content. And be patient, because just when you think those results aren't coming in, it may just be right around the corner. SoFit asks, I'm broke right now, but want to build a business. How can I get started on my journey to becoming an entrepreneur? So I talked about this on my last episode of this affiliate marketing live stream, but I'll go ahead and bring it up here, what I talked about in the previous episode. If you're saying to yourself that you're broke right now, that you don't have any money, don't let that be an excuse for why you can't build this business. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of people will say that they want to build a business, but they don't have the money for it. But let's think of it this way. Have you ever had anything that you saw, let's say, at a store? Let's say you found this awesome item that it was so glorious, it's so awesome that you said to yourself, I need to have it, but also I'm going to look for the money to get it. And what did you do? Were you telling yourself that you can't get that item that you saw in the store? No. What you did was you said you want that item and you're going to find the money in order to get that item. And what did you do? You got resourceful. You looked for a way or ways of earning the money so that you can go back to the store and buy the item. And you did. Now, if you can do that for an item in the store, why can't you do that for your business? You may not be able to have the money right now at this present moment in time, but are you always going to be broke? Is your bank account always going to stay at zero forever? Get resourceful. In a time of limited resources, I know that might be hard for you right now, but if you really want this, if you really truly believe that building a business is the path that you want to walk forward on, then what you want to do is quit making excuses for yourself. Change that self-talk of telling yourself that you're broke, that you're not made of money, that you cannot afford this. Stop telling yourself that. Instead, flip those beliefs around and say, I'm going to be building this business and I'm going to get resourceful however way I can. Change that self-talk and get resourceful. And when you do that, watch how your journey shifts. Raquel asks, how do you start building your audience in 2024? Great question, Raquel. So what you want to do to start building your audience, if you have none right now, is besides putting out content on your social media, what you want to do is you want to do market research on the top five influential people in your niche. Figure out who those influential people are and start creating content around that target audience. But not only that, but you can go on those influential people's fan pages and then you can go ahead and start adding those people. And then once they add you, you can start communicating with them, start building a connection, a human-to-human -human connection with them. And that's how you're going to be able to start building your audience. Now, mind you, it's not going to be super-duper fast. But if you would do this consistently 
over a period of time, what you're going to find is you're going to start to see your numbers go up. You're going to start seeing engagement go up. And before you know it, you're going to start seeing those results flying in. So just be sure to do your market research on the top five influential people in your niche. Be sure to put out content around that target audience based on what those influential people are posting. And then what you want to do is you want to go on their fan pages and start adding those people. And then start building that human-to-human -human connection with them. And if you would be consistent with that over a period of time, you're going to see how those results will start climbing. Kate asks, how do you maintain a consistent brand voice and image across various marketing channels? Excellent question, Kate. What you want to keep in mind is for every piece of content that you put out there, everything has to be congruent. The message must match the market. Every piece of content that you're putting out there, no matter where it is, it's got to be congruent to everything. Otherwise, if there's a disconnect, if it's not congruent, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem when it comes to you getting engagement on your content as well as your audience for your audience as well. So just keep in mind that if you want to be consistent in maintaining that brand image and voice, make sure everything you do is congruent. Make sure your messaging is matching the market. Otherwise, things are not going to work. Andrea asks, how can someone leverage social media platforms to generate income? And what are the key considerations for building a successful online presence? That is a great question, Andrea. And what you want to do is in order to use social media platforms to be able to generate income is you want to start building your personal brand. In other words, brand yourself when you go ahead and start creating your profiles on the social media platforms. Don't be making your profiles all about your company offer or don't be just going on a pitch fest and saying, want to learn how to make $100,000 in three months. Don't be making your profiles around that kind of vibe. What you want to do is you want to be able to just start putting yourself out there by branding yourself, by being the leader that people want to follow. And some key considerations to keep in mind in order to be building a successful online presence is the following. Number one, you want to get crystal clear on who your target audience is. Who do you want to target? Is it other affiliate marketers, entrepreneurs, or if you're into health and fitness, do you want to target people who are health and fitness fanatics? I mean, the list goes on and on, but you want to make sure that for whatever you're promoting online as a marketer, you want to make sure that the audience that you're going to be targeting, your product matches with what that audience is looking for. And then after you get crystal clear on your target audience, what you want to do is you want to go out there, do market research on finding the top five influential people in your niche, find out what kind of content they're putting out there and model after that content. But mind you, don't exactly copy their content. That's plagiarizing. And you don't want to be known as a plagiarizing marketer. What you want to do is take what works and model after it by adding your authentic voice to it, by adding your own personal touch to it. And don't be afraid to bring your audience into your world. Let them get to know you. Let them get to like you. Let them get 
to trust you. And once you get content put out there for your social media, what you want to do next is you want to build your audience. How do you do that? You do that by looking at the top five influential people in your niche, go on their fan pages, and start adding people from those fan pages. Because the top five influential people on those fan pages, yeah, they may have like a massive amount of likes and a massive amount of following, but think of it like this. They cannot get to every single individual that likes and comments on their post. They can only keep up with it so much. So what you want to do is you want to take advantage of it. You want to go ahead and add those people as friends. And then once they accept, you want to start building that human to human connection with them. Find out if your prod if they have a need for your product and watch how your social media marketing efforts climb up if you follow these steps. Okay, if you have any questions, I'll go ahead and be around for just another moment. And after that, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Okay, I don't see any more questions coming in, so I trust you got a ton of value out of this live stream. And if you did, I invite you to join me on the journey of achieving time freedom. Simply grab my free beginner's cheat sheet for affiliate marketing report by looking for the link below this video. And let me know how I can be of service to you on your journey. I'll gladly point you in the right direction. With that said, this is Mark Castillo, aka the Digital Marketing Warrior. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me in on this live stream. Have an amazing day, wherever you may be, whatever time zone that you're watching this from, and I'll see you on the next one very soon. Take care and all the absolute best.